Okay, so what we're doing here is uh, I'm going to do a new uh, video to go through how to begin with Google's um, ads, Google Ads or, or Google's AdWords um, keyword planner tool. Um, they recently updated and changed, so now the old video I had out there to get you started uh, is different, has a different screen. So this one, the way they've, they've gone to things now, and one thing, and I've got, I think I did a, a recording on this somewhere, but I, I don't, I couldn't find it, so <laughs> I'm doing this one. Uh, so they've got this little tools uh, icon up here, the little wrench, and I'm guessing in the future, if they do make changes, they're probably going to stick with this wrench icon at least, because that's kind of a universal tools icon. So if it does look different in the future and you're watching this video, look for the, the wrench icon. That'll get you started. So whether they put it over here or over there or down at the bottom or the middle of the screen, find the wrench or tools, and that should get you where we need to go. All right. So currently under tools, we're looking under the planning section for keyword planner. That's the tool we want. And so we click that, and that'll bring us into the Keyword Planner. It'll take a moment to load here. And what we want to do is click on this Find Keywords box. And that's what we're doing is looking for new keywords. So we click that, and then we can enter up to three keyword phrases, uh, three primary seed phrases. These are the phrases we give to Google so they can start looking for data and information for us. So um, that's where we can enter um, keywords related to products that we're promoting or services we're promoting, affiliate offers, whatever it is that we're looking for to get keyword ideas and understand how people are searching for these products, we can type those in here. So we've got to start with a general idea of what we're promoting. Okay, so um, if we're looking to promote, I, I would say if we're looking to promote anything dealing with uh, um, airline um, discounts or, or loopholes or you know any any of that kind of thing, um, these are two good beginning phrases to start with: airline discounts and travel discounts, because that is more likely the type of phrase people are going to search for. I mean, think about it. If you're looking online to try and find something to get cheap tickets or a discount, we're going to put in phrases like this, right? So we, one, uh, so one thing about doing the keyword research is when you are when you're creating these lists, we want each list to be. Well, at least in my mind, I, I like to have each list as specific as possible. So I might have one list that talks about discounts, and then if I wanted to also research frequent flyer miles, then I would do that in a separate search so that I have a separate spreadsheet that's just focused on frequent flyer mile type phrases. Okay, because you can do this as many times as you want. Let, let me just run through this and show you. So we click Get Started, and that's going to to run through and give us phrases related to what we typed in. And we want these seed phrases to be, um, we don't want them to be so specific that nobody's ever going to type them in, because then Google's just going to say, well, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I can't find anything related to that. But if we have um, phrases that are more of a general nature like this, then we're going to get a lot of data. Okay. And then right up here at the top, uh, kind of to the right, we've got this download keyword ideas. And so we can click on that and download the, the whole report. And of course, if we are using uh, Google Chrome, then which we should always be doing, then we'll see down at the bottom left here uh, on the, the Chrome taskbar, we've got our keywords that you know are, are download. Now here's where this is where we can start using Google Drive. So we've got our Google Drive account open. Remember we got to that through Gmail. Click this little thing and go to Drive, right? 
and that opens up our Google Drive, which is our uh, uh, software suite. So then we can just click and hold on this downloaded list of keywords and drag it up into here and see it says drop them right here. So we let go there. It uploads that document. We can either click on this one or this one here to open that. And we're going to get this screen where it says up in the top in the middle, open with Google Sheets. And that's what we want to do is use that Google Sheets to open. So we click that. And now it's opening a new tab up at the top of the uh, of our window right up here. And so if we come back to Google Drive, uh, so what I generally do, we can close this little upload. Um, now that we've got this open in Sheets, we don't need the original document, so we just remove that. Just right click and remove and it gets rid of it. And so then we've got the uh, spreadsheet here and we can just dismiss this little inside or you could check those out if you wanted when that comes up, but we don't need that right now. Now, let's look at how we use this data and what information we need. So we don't need these top two, so we click and drag over those top two, right click and delete rows, and then we want to keep this header row, and I like to bold those and then go to view, freeze, one row. And that way uh, we click on that freeze one row, and then as I scroll up and down, it keeps my header row in place. Okay. All right, now what we need to do is go through and explain what data we need, what data we don't need. And this is one of those new things from Google. We do not need column B with the currency, and we actually do not need this column C with the average monthly, because instead of that, we have these two columns here, minimum search volume and maximum search volume. So they give us a range in two columns. Okay, So we're going to just go here and write, or, or uh, click and drag over these two column headers or letters there and right click on the highlighted section and delete columns B and C. So we just remove those um, columns completely. After that removes, the other two will move over and take their place. So now column B and C is minimum search and maximum search volume. Okay. And so what Google is telling us is for this phrase discount travel, there are searches, the number of searches falls somewhere between a thousand to ten thousand searches per month. Okay. And they are not going to give us a more specific number as long as we are not running ads in the Google Ads system. Now if we start running ads, if we create a campaign and create some ad groups in here, and actually start paying to run ads, then Google gives us more specific data. Instead of these minimum maximum, that column that had NA before will show up with a specific monthly average number um, that's averaged from over the last 12 months. Okay, But they're not going to give us that as long as we're not paying for uh, ads to run. So the rest of this data we just don't need right now. This is all for paid advertising research. Uh, even this competition, that's only paid advertisers competing for these keywords. So it's not relevant if we're just looking at this for general optimization or SEO purposes. Okay. Now, if we want to keep that data for future reference, if we're going to run ads and do paid advertising, then what we can do is come down to this little drop-down arrow at the bottom and duplicate the spreadsheet. So now we've got the copy of it over here and we've got the original here and what I generally do is I'll rename this to refined and so then in this refined data that way I'm keeping a, an original copy of everything and in the refined one I can just come in and delete anything I don't need. So highlight all those, right click on the highlighted section and delete. Um, this also where it says searches for August, September, October, you know, go through the past year. Well, those will show up if we are paying for ads. Again, it will give us that data, but uh, we don't really need that. All we need is an average right now. And so we're going to delete those columns and basically just get rid of anything that is unnecessary. 
uh, for our basic research purposes. Okay. Uh, and that'll we'll get rid of these as well. All right. And then we're down to this. Now what I want to do is I'm going to insert a couple more. So we want four columns here um, because we do want to do some, uh, some basic competition research. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that here with a special Google search. And then this is what you'll, you'll start focusing on for the week. So, uh, all right, so what we're going to do is we'll put in, this is all lowercase, A-L-L, -L, two L's, A-L-L-I-N-T-I-T-L-E, colon, quote. And then right here, we're going to put just a quote mark. And then in column F, we put equals, concatenate. And as you start typing it, it comes up and shows you the option here. So this is to create a formula. So we click on that, and then it says put your strings that you want. This is combining data, and it says, you know, put a string, your first uh, part of the data you want, and then a comma, and then the next part. So what we're going to do is click right here, because this will be the first part. And notice it throws it in there, then I put in a comma. Now it's asking for the next part, which we want to be the keyword. And so then it puts that A2 in there for that cell, and then a comma. And then the last part is this end quote here. And that's all we need is those three. And so then I just press Enter. And that creates our completed um, concatenate formula that you can see right here. Okay. And so uh, if you don't get a, uh, a drop-down list like this showing you these options, then just type in the, um, the formula as I've outlined um, in here. So you'll just type in equals concatenate. It doesn't have to be capitalized. Um, and then open parentheses. And then once you hit that open parentheses, then you can start clicking into the cells where you want it. And so that's where you could go ahead and click D and then you know, click, uh, type comma and then click the next one and type comma and then the next one and, and then press enter and it'll just fill it up. Okay. So whatever has to be done, um, but if you update your Chrome browser consistently, then it should show what I'm doing here. Again, this is the way Chrome works. If you're if you're actually using Firefox or Microsoft Edge or something like that, then it's it's going to act a little different. So, um, or Safari or anything else. But anyway, now we've got our formula, and as long as we have data in the cell directly to the left of this column or, or this cell, we can highlight all three of these, and you see that little square right there at the lower right. If we if we just hover over that and get the plus sign like we're seeing right now and then double click, then as long as there is something in this cell next to it, it'll fill all the way down our spreadsheet and, and uh, give us that, um, that code all the way down. Okay. And then this is what we want to enter into Google. So enter into Google. And then once we enter that in Google, we're going to put the number of results over here. And this will be our all-in title. And that is our estimate of competition. So this number right here, about 25,100 results. And it's really important that we have the exact syntax. We need all-in title, all-in lowercase, and then colon, and then a quote then our keyword, and then end quotes. Because what this does is it tells Google, look in the meta title of all the pages out there that you have access to for this exact keyword phrase. And so it's saying whatever's in quotes, it needs to be these words in this order. That's what we're telling the Google search engine. Okay. And so if any of that isn't right, if we don't have these quotes, if, we're, if we don't have the, the colon there, if we have a capital letter in here, then it's not going to give us correct data, and, and our data is going to be skewed. So it's very important we have that correct. And then we take this number, 25,100, and put that right here. 
25,100 is the number of pages that are using discount travel in their meta title. And then we just go down and we do the same thing on anything that we have here. And then like I say, if we wanted to do a frequent flyer miles spreadsheet, we would do that on a separate sheet so we have the data. And we just go through and, and anything that's relevant, we do a search on Google for it and see what the competition pages are. So this one we can see has 9,400,000. So 9,400,000 pages competing for cheap flights. So of course there's a lot more searches on that and usually the higher searches are going to be higher competition. So this just tells us as, as we gather this data, then we look at this and say, okay, it's, it's going to be a lot easier for me to rank for discount travel than it will be for me to try and rank for cheap flights. Okay that's going to be a lot harder with that much competition than something like this. And so all we're looking at there is to get a list with lots of numbers and then we can look at the lower competition that still has decent demand. I mean over a thousand searches a month is, is great um, and those are the phrases that we will use when we start creating content for our website. Okay, So there's our new uh, getting started with keywords uh, webinar um, to, to give you the beginning steps there.